Hi, I'm J.D. Kennedy. This is Dr. Tammy Smalkus. And uh, for the video blog this week, I wanted us to explore our career and technology education program here in McKinney ISD. And there's no one better to explain the program than Dr. Tammy Smalkus. She's our Director of uh, Career and Technology here in McKinney. And I just have a few questions I'd like to ask her and as to help explain the program. What is CTE? And what does CTE truly mean to new students coming into the high school? CTE is and stands for Career and Technical Education. And it is an opportunity for our students to have the opportunity to select college and career pathways. In particular, our main focus is creating a career pathway that will hopefully motivate our students to do some post-secondary studies, whether it's earning an associate's degree, a graduate degree in a field of interest that they really truly enjoy. Okay, so it's not just for those students that are career that are that are not career college bound. That they, Correct. They're just. I mean, it's also for students that maybe want to go to college and get a degree. It's for all students, absolutely. Okay. Uh, what programs does uh, McKinney ISD offer currently to all of our students? Currently we offer 13 of the 16 Achieve Texas programs and that includes anything from architecture and food and natural resources, arts audio video production, we have programs in architecture and construction, business marketing and finance, education and training, health sciences, human services which is our tremendous cosmetology program, in addition to our law program information technology, which is cybersecurity and networking, and our STEM, which is the science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, and then of course our Aviation Academy, which is through our transportation distribution and logistics program. How do the CET programs help students in core classes? You know, what's really interesting is that CTE offers students hands-on, rigorous opportunities that incorporate core content. And here's an example, Dr. Kennedy. In our robotics classes, students have to know how to calculate torque in order to determine if a motor can lift a certain object. They also have to incorporate trigonometry that allows them to determine whether or not they can um, determine if the truss is stable. In addition to math and science being incorporated into a lot of our programs, we're also working on incorporating a lot of reading and writing, which involves the students to be able to write certain lab reports and to write up their proposals in terms of whether they're going to market a, a product or um, become an entrepreneur. So we like to incorporate reading and writing as well in all of our programs. Real hands-on opportunity for our students. There are many, there are many schools across the, the state that have separate uh, career technology centers. Uh, why don't we have a career technology center separate from the high schools? Well, first of all, having a separate building is, is very costly. You are having to pay for an additional building and that, you know, everything from the, the electricity to the resources to keep a building open. We offer all of our third and fourth year level classes at different campuses. And I'm going to brag on our programs. We do a magnificent job with offering our higher level courses at one of the three campuses and when I look at our sister districts that do have these CTE specialized centers I would have to say that McKinney ISD needs to be proud because we offer as many programs if not more and when we look at the number of students that we put through our programs in terms of um, aligning that with how many of our students get their licenses and certifications you know we are higher than some of those districts that, that uh, have those separate centers. Does uh, MISD, how, how do we design our programs? We design our programs based upon information that is provided to me on a yearly basis and, and actually uh, sometimes I get monthly updates from our North Central Texas Council of Government in combination with our Workforce Solutions of North, Sex North Central Texas. We have a board called the Interlink Board, and they provide us um, information of high need workforce areas, um, uh, careers that North Texas is really looking for. Then from that, what I do is then I bring in a lot of in individuals and we talk about how can we bring this to McKinney ISD. And, and one in particular is a recent Aviation Academy. I, I brought in the um, Economic Development Council, the Chamber of Commerce, the city, the airport, and we all sat around a table and talked about how can this really benefit not only the city but our students. Then we bring it to the students and the parents and we begin communicating that and then aligning our courses and then obviously working with our teachers to ensure we have the certifications to offer these programs. And then obviously 
what we've also done is designed four-year graduation plans to help students track from grade 9 through grade 12 all of the courses they need to be successful in that career. What are some of the licenses and certifications that students can obtain in our district and how have we improved on ensuring that students uh, actually earn or acquire a license from being in the program? One of the must-haves since I've been now in this position for one month and two or one year and two months is that all of our programs must offer our students the ability to take a certification or license. And in particularly, for example, in education, we offer CPR, the Educational Aid One certification in our um, arts audio video production. I'm not sure if uh, many people are aware of this, but we just recently purchased the Adobe Cloud Enterprise Agreement K-12, which are all of the top industry standard um, programs in Photoshop and Premiere, and so we have the Adobe certification. Our Aviation Academy offers the student pilot certificate, the, the sport pilot license. If we look at our health science, we do a phenomenal job, 100% pass rate with our certified nurses assistants, our pharmaceutical uh, certification, as well as our EMT, emergency medical technician certification. Cosmetology, we have 100% pass rate of our students getting their Texas cosmetology license. In our law, Career cluster, we are offering students to do 911 dispatching, you know, their um, Hunter's Ed um, gun safety. Um, you know, and we went from, in one year, we did 168 certifications of, uh, last year to 496 this year. So I'm very proud of what our teachers have done and what our students have accomplished. A fourfold increase. Correct. That's amazing. Yes. That's fantastic. Is there any program certification that is unique to us? Obviously, our Aviation Academy is definitely unique. We're one of the few public schools in the nation that offers a full pilot certificate opportunity, and particularly since we recently purchased a FAA certified simulator for students to earn some of their flight hours with a certified pilot in the classroom, as well as we have a state-of-the-art cosmetology program. We have a 3,600 square foot beautiful salon, and our students have an opportunity to get their um, cosmetology license as well as the recent purchase of the Adobe Cloud. We are one of the few North Texas school districts that have this opportunity, and um, I think that's critical. And then in addition to that, I think we do a special relationship. We, I have built a special relationship with Collin College and offering as many dual credit third and fourth year classes as possible or information technology with cybersecurity, as well as the certified logistics and the Certified Logistics Technician Certification, where our students had gone in for two weeks and learned how to become um, a part of, they got their certification to work in warehouses and factories, um, distribution centers, let's say airports, you know, working with FedEx or UPS. So we offer a lot of um, opportunities for our students to earn some type of a career occupation before they leave. How can students or parents learn about these programs? First and foremost, students can always visit with their guidance counselor. They have a full packet of resources that uh, I've designed with my leadership team, as well as I'm also in the middle of launching a new college and career readiness program called Naviance. And all of our students from grades seven through 12 have the opportunity to go on to Naviance, and it's naviance.com, and they enter their school six-digit uh, zip code and enter their home access center, and they have a plethora of resources in Naviance. Um, and in Naviance, what we have done is merged all of our career pathways into Naviance where students can start planning their four-year graduation. So that's truthfully one of the number one ways. Our website will have all of the updated brochures that we have designed for each of our clusters as well as our academic planning guide. And then obviously our four-year graduation plans that will be attached to all of this. Okay. Can you share with us the work surrounding graduation requirements and career and college planning? Well, you know that House Bill 5 has recently passed, and <coughs> House Bill 5 has definitely added a benefit to CTE. And particularly, now students going into high school beginning 2014 and 2015, they must um, identify an endorsement. And what an endorsement entails is students majoring, so to speak, in one of the career and technical education fields from um, science STEM, um, the STEM programs, the business and industry, the public services. So students now will be doing the, the four years of ELA, there are three years of math, three years of science, three years of social studies. 
They still have to maintain one year PE, two years of, of foreign language, which can be computer programming. Um, then there are uh, five electives as well as the endorsement. And I think this is really going to pick up the programs that are being offered at each of the uh, uh, school districts in, in Texas. And when I recently went to the National Conference for uh, CTE last, last week, many states were very impressed that Texas has moved in this direction and, and truthfully designing our graduation requirements around our workforce and college and career um, direction. Speaking of that, I understand that Nancy Callishaw uh, was there as well, and you worked with her, uh, and there, you got a r real positive response from a room full of people that were attending the conference. Uh, what exactly do they see that's unique about McKinney and, and what we're doing here? What they really were impressed with is how I have merged my department with Nancy Collishaw, and she's the director of partners in education and part of the career and technical education focus is listening to our businesses and our, and our industries and finding out what is it that they're truly needing from our students when they graduate. And so we, we re resurrected, so to speak, our advisory committee and I needed some support in, in putting a business with our careers and Nancy was very adamant on and helped and very helpful in making sure that we had a business plugged into each one of our career pathways. And so we shared that with this group and a lot of states didn't, don't have that partners and education opportunity and, but are very aware that the advisor committee is very important in designing career and technical education courses. So we talked a lot about that and then we talked a lot about how we truly redesigned a career and technical education program with the focus of incorporating the businesses and the industries in our, in our region. That's great. Mm -hmm. Well, based upon that, are there any future courses or programs that you're interested in bringing to McKinney? Absolutely. Um, I have a, a vision and a dream of having the best CTE program in the nation, and I think we're starting that pretty good with the Aviation Academy. However, there are some other areas that I would love for us to, to build upon, and one in particular is we're working on designing a house building program and I'd like to merge that with Habitats for Humanity and seeing if we can uh, merge our architecture and construction, building trades with Habitat for Humanities and perhaps looking at building a house. Another opportunity that I really want to look into is um, resurrecting our business, uh, marketing and finance programs and creating an, a way for students to all have that opportunity to learn how to become an entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. And in addition to that is the, the new courthouse that's being designed at McKinney High School and that's resurrecting some more legal opportunities and using, like, utilizing that courthouse, so bringing in uh, attorneys and merging it with the law and the criminal justice and uh, perhaps merging it with our McKinney um, juvenile system and having the opportunity for our kids to run when the students are having to go talk about their attendance, we do it within our program. Um, the other, some other areas that I would really like to bring into is um, a way to bring more girls into our engineering classes and uh, boys into our cosmetology programs because I think we have a, a, a wide variety there that we, we need to build upon. But definitely I'd like to have the, the best program in the nation. Mm -hmm. Well, I just, uh, I feel like it is really important for us to prepare our students to be college ready and career ready both. And uh, what better way to do it than through our career and technology programs. And uh, Dr. Smalkus, thank you for your work in this one short year. We've, we've made some real progress and look forward to the future. Thank you and make it a great week.